Welcome back to another video. We're in Vero Beach. Drove down this morning. We're spending the weekend here, as you can see. So my dad, our family, has a, a boat down here in Vero. My dad is retired, so he goes to and from Vero Beach all the time. So we're taking the boat out today, and then we're going to the beach club tomorrow. We're staying the night on the boat tonight. Wanted to go ahead and start off the vlog. Welcome you back. I need to change into my bathing suit. Erin has already started drinking. Erin's my sister, by the way, if you have missed past vlogs. She's been in a couple vlogs, but she's two years younger than me. And if she had blonde hair, if I had dark hair, I feel like we would look more Here's the alike. thing. Here's what's crazy, is this is our natural color. Like, to here. This I think mine's like a little bit lighter, but Erin's hair is darker, for sure. Yeah. But I think, I'm obviously not naturally blonde. <laughs> But well, you are. We were naturally, like, that's what color we were when we were babies. Yeah, I've been this blonde as a child. Right, Dad? We had yeah, we really were blonde hair as a blonde. kid. But now, yeah. yeah, and now I obviously dye it to get this color. But I'm going to change it to my bathing suit. We brought some stuff in the cooler. Christian and I brought this cooler over. Because we brought some snacks and some drinks. These are really good if you have not tried. Christian, is there a specific spot where you get these from? Only liquor yeah. stores? Yeah. You can only get these from the liquor store, but they have three insane flavors. They're really good, especially if you don't like tequila. I like tequila. Um, seltzers, they're really good. Erin, you need to try these. Um, they have great flavors. Oh, so this one's so grapefruit and rose, cucumber and mint, and then I love this peach one. I think and orange blossom wow. is the best. These are incredible, but you can only get them from the liquor store. But I highly, highly recommend. They're one of Christian, my fiance's brands. If you don't know, he sells, he's a liquor salesman. Why so. are the cans so beautiful? Right? They're gorgeous. And then I'm um, excited for you to open them. we got these Yeti things. And look at look at how cute these are, Aaron. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> We haven't used these, but um, our friend Sean and Sam got them for us as an engagement gift. And we only have eight months to use them still because we're about to be married. So I brought these, so I have an excuse to use them, but I think we're mainly gonna be drinking these, which are our favorites. And we obviously brought some snacks, carrots, we have some leftover cucumber from dinner last night, and then we got this spinach and artichoke dip, which I have not tried. So I have some stuff that I need to put in the fridge. Is there anything else I can fit in here? The fridge outside just got turned on. Okay. That's where my drinks are. Okay. But maybe as other people's coolers get lower, I can put mine in. Is that not right Oh there? my gosh. Is that not the case? <laughs> that is cute. Okay, I need to put on my bathing suit and... Well, maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna go bring my speaker out and see if anybody wants to stop us in to
it's the next morning. Hopefully my hair doesn't look too frizzy. I just took it out of twists. I sleep in twists to kind of help it. And what I mean by twists is it's, it's two strands of hair instead of three. So it's like a French twist, I guess you could say, because I, I do it from up here and down and I kind of wrap it a little tight and sleep with it like that. And that's what I usually do when I wear my hair natural throughout the week because I only blow dry my hair once a week and I wash my hair twice a week. So if I'm like going to the beach or the pool the next day, I'll usually like wash my hair so it's clean and sleep in twists. So that's what I did Friday night. I washed my hair and then I did have to rewash my hair last night because I did get in the salt water. Usually at nighttime, it just doesn't look, my hair doesn't air dry really well. Like I'll try and get it to air dry well, but it was a little bit frizzy because it's so humid here in Florida. Like we're at that time of year where the second that I walk outside with my camera, instant fog. But once I got home, I kind of like wet my hair a little bit and then I didn't put any product in it because I didn't bring any. I did have like a mini oil, but nothing that's like helps with the texture of the hair so I just slept in twists this is what I get and then it looks like a little bit styled and then I can add some waves to it with like my beach waver if I wanted to or whatever so it looks like a little bit more styled than it would if it was like fully natural I guess you could say because my hair like doesn't it like waves like this underneath but not the top layer so like the whole top layer is like straight and a little frizzy but anyways I went to Starbucks this morning my dad does have a coffee maker but I just wanted to get out and get coffee I might have another coffee once I get back because there's like not a lot of coffee or espresso in here and I got a double shot of espresso with two percent milk and one pump of toffee nut syrup and toffee nut was my favorite thing to get in starbucks coffee like four or five years ago i thought they discontinued it or they stopped having it at all locations so i checked today to see if they had it and they did so i got it in i just got one pump but it's really good i did want to go to like a cute coffee shop or like try a coffee shop but Vero Beach is like a very, um, it's more of a retirement town, I would say. It's not, or at least the community where my dad stays and we have a boat slip here. It, it's just a bunch of retired people. So I think a lot of places are closed on Sundays um, because I was trying to look for some coffee shops by him and the closest thing was Starbucks that was open or like a Dunkin' Donuts. So I was like, okay, Starbucks it is. Um, so today we're going to the beach club with the whole family and I'm excited because it was under construction last year and when we did come, we saw like partially completed, it wasn't fully completed and a lot of it was still just like under construction, had boards up and things. So it's been done and I'm excited to see what it looks like and just to hang out there and get lunch. They have good food the beach and then there's the pool area and I'm just excited to have a day in the sun even though I don't really get I try to not get any sun on my face my favorite thing is just like putting on blush a lot of like corally reddish blush to make it kind of look like I got some color and then like my deep bronzy tanning drops and I did get like a little bit of sun right here because I took my hat off when we swam in yesterday to like a little sandbar because we can only like we can only be so close so we have to like swim in and i got like just a little bit of color but i usually don't tan on my face because my dad gets uh skin cancer removed unfortunately from his face and i have his skin tone and i just freckle really easily and i burn and i don't really tan so i just prefer to self tan and then also it just protects my face um from just aging i mean aging is natural but just helps protect my skin keep it looking good yeah we're gonna head to the beach club it's 8 30 right now and we'll probably head to the beach club around like 10, 10.30, maybe 11. So within the next like two hours, we'll head over. And I'm excited. So I know I didn't really talk to the camera a lot yesterday, but I did try to get a lot of um, clips of everything. So, but yeah, that's what's going on for today. I'm gonna walk back to the boat and we're gonna have a great day in the sun.
Okay, I'm packing up my beach bag and I'm gonna show you what I kind of bring in my beach bag besides like sunscreen, obviously, but just little things that I keep in here. I got this from LL Bean. It's super affordable. I think it was like 30 bucks. You could customize it. And I got the goods on it in yellow and you can get these straps in different colors. You can get the wording in different colors. I'm just obsessed with yellow, so. I did this, but you can customize it with whatever you want on the outside, your initials, a phrase, pretty much anything. And I just have the cups that I brought in here right now. And then another MEJ clip. These are my favorite clips. And then I have one on the outside. This is from MEJ as well. I have this hat clip that I got off Amazon. It connects to a bag, so I just brought it so I could connect this hat to it. It's completely magnetic and it also stays. I have this on my backpack all through Italy and carried this hat with me all throughout Italy, travel for 17 days. And the hat never came off from the magnetic closure. So I really like this. I think it was under $10 from Amazon. So I just brought that so I can attach it to the outside of this bag and clip this hat. And then this is the little bag that I keep in my beach bag. This is from Etsy, I can link it. And then I'll show what's in there. This is just my jewelry case. I've had this for forever from Vera Bradley, I think, but it's my travel jewelry case. It has a bunch of different compartments, like this main one, another one right here, and then this also unzips. And then I brought a couple pairs of sunglasses. I don't know why I did, but I always have like multiple pairs of sunglasses with me. But I also don't know why I have this paper still in there. So in here I have my favorite sunscreen, the Elta MD. This is the UV clear one. I've had the tinted one, but sometimes I just prefer clear sunscreen on my face. I don't always like to have color. And if I did want to add color, I would just add the Drunk Elephant bronzing drops to it. Sorry, my nails are so grown out too. I'm getting them done next week. But these de bronzy drops, I will just mix in with this if I want a little bit of color or after going to the beach or the pool, going to get lunch or something. Love adding this just to have some color on my face because I always protect my face with a hat. And then I always keep a blush too. It adds color to your face. Also, you can use it on your lips. And I love this color, Picante. It's just such a nice orangey red. Kind of makes you look sun-kissed without being in the sun. So I love this. And then it also has a brush on this end. So it's great to throw in like a beach bag any of their colors are great too, but this one's like my favorite. And then I have, this is my favorite lip balm. I love the purple color that it adds to your lips and I love the um, scent or flavor gummy bear. The whitening eye drops by Lumify. These are incredible for whitening your eyes. My favorite hand cream from Lux Unfiltered. I love this stuff. I have it in my work desk at my job. I have it in my car. I have it in my bathroom and I have just one that I carry from purse to purse. And then my comb. This is from Crown Affair. This perfume is like a nice travel size. It's the Missing Person by Fleur. I think this is an all natural perfume. It smells so good. Put that in there. And then I think this is just a nice smooth lip oil. It's so nice on your lips for it being so cheap. It's just from Ulta Beauty. I think I got this for Christmas one year and it's one of my favorites. It adds the best gloss in my opinion. It's one of my favorites so I keep it in my beach bag. And then some hair ties. I have this one because it holds my hair really well. And then I also have the slip one just in case I want like a loose bun so it's not pulling at my hair if it's wet. I need to get new ones of these. These stretch out so easily. I have this hair oil from Virtue that I keep in there just in case my hair is like a little bit dry or natural from being in the pool or at the beach and I'm going to lunch or something and I just want to add a little bit of moisture or just in general. And then lastly, a eyebrow gel just after you're in the water or the beach pool. It's nice to kind of smooth out your brows if you're going to lunch or wherever. So. That's what I usually carry in my beach bag, just this little purse or pouch, and I put that in my bag. Mm -hmm.